Hi guys, welcome to Studio Wildlife. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created a painting using a toothbrush. So just as a little spoiler, I did actually only start to use the toothbrush about a quarter of the way through the painting when I was starting doing the splashing technique. So the blocking stage is actually a painting with brushes. Then I covered that entire blocking with paint solely applied with this toothbrush. I didn't go into this painting thinking, I know I'm going to use a toothbrush. I started just like I would any other painting with an acrylic sketch or an acrylic drawing. And I'm just using a filbert brush just to block in my basic shapes and basic structures in this form of a line drawing. I actually decided to do this painting because I just wanted to do something for me. It's not a commission, it's not intended to go to any gallery work or anything like that or any exhibitions. It was just a painting that I wanted to do because it's been so long since I've just had a chance to paint and just have fun with it. So I was using it to try and attempt some new techniques. I've recently bought a new Liquitex Freestyle brush, which is the brush that I'm using here. I'll pop a link down to that in the description. But I purchased it for more abstract paintings because I want to try and develop my style and develop my understanding of painting. And I think doing commissions all the time and doing exhibition work, you sort of limit yourself to where you can grow as an artist. And I think it's important to take time to do sketches that aren't necessarily supposed to be for sale that you're just practicing your technique and building and learning and growing your skill. This piece was specifically focusing on abstract shapes, mark making and colours for me because colours are one of the things that I struggle with the most. So I was trying to do a slightly more abstract piece but focusing on the colours. And obviously I'm using a brush here but I'm just building up this block in and when I actually get around to the toothbrush it will actually cover all of the paint that's here. Then we get onto the toothbrush. I didn't actually start with a toothbrush. I started with a regular br brush, but it wasn't splattery enough. So I very quickly ran to my bathroom and tried to find a toothbrush that wasn't being used. I decided I wanted to focus on colour more than details for this piece. So it was all about just splattering the paint, trying to abstract it up using this toothbrush and trying to pick out the colours that were important, matching the tones, matching the values to try and get a realistic colour palette but a more abstract final piece than I usually try to achieve. I don't actually have any fingerprints left on my finger because I spent about three hours splattering paint using my finger and it's worn away the fingerprints. So if you do do this I do recommend wearing a glove or if you have sensitive skin maybe use the end of another paintbrush to just flick the paint rather than using your fingers. So at this stage, I did actually flick between the brush and the toothbrush because I wasn't as confident in using the toothbrush as I should have been and it took me a while to learn. So I kept on flicking back to my, <laughs> flicking, um, I kept on flicking back to my original brush. Whereas sort of towards the midway when I started moving up onto the nose and finished the mouth, I relied solely on the toothbrush because I'd gotten used to using it and I started to experiment with different ways that I could use it. I used to fill sketchbooks, I used to draw, I used to paint every single day doing little things that made me happy but at the minute I've just been focusing solely on commissions and although I love painting the commissions but it's a limitation on what you can create. You are trying to fit a specification given to you by a client and you don't necessarily have that artistic freedom unless they've given you that artistic freedom which are fantastic commissions. When you've been given a commission it's very much painting what somebody else wants rather than what you want so it's nice to sometimes just stop take a pause from whatever it is you're doing and create something for you not only will that help you 
improve your mood, feel happier because you're doing something that you want to do, but it's also going to help you improve your artistic ability. When you do things that you enjoy, when you do things that you're trying to learn from, you do end up gaining new skills. Like from this painting, I've actually developed loads of understanding of colour and light and shadows. That's something that I found was previously missing or not missing but a struggle in my previous work but by doing this and taking the time to actually practice and try something new I'm actually developing my skills and improving my usual technique one thing I do recommend if you are going to do something like this make sure you've got space to do it you can't imagine the amount of paint that I've got flicked all over my doors now because it's just flicked all over the canvas and on the floor and on the walls and on the doors so make sure you've got a clean space because I had to keep on stopping to clean paint off the walls this is one of those pieces that I think when it's done will potentially be one of my best pieces or for me personally, it'll be one of my best pieces just because of how enjoyable I found this process. It was nice mixing in a bit of the toothbrush, using something that I don't usually use, using my fingers. It just reminded me of like painting when I was younger and to use those skills and to try and create something to a better standard than I would have done when I was a child is just amazing and it was an amazing feeling to actually get stuck into this painting for once not getting caught up in the details and just trying to look at shapes and structures and trying to abstract it and make it look 3d while still keeping that abstract texture those abstract marks that when you actually get close to this painting you can clearly see that it is an abstract piece whereas from a distance it looks a lot more real best artworks that you will create are always the artworks that you enjoy they're the ones that you put your life and your soul into and for me doing this when i have the chance to actually experiment and create paintings that are for me that's something new that's trialing new techniques they are always the paintings that yeah sure they might not technically be as good but they are the ones that are my favorite pieces because they're the ones that i had most fun with and the ones that i most enjoyed and I think that is actually the most important thing about being an artist, is that you have fun and you enjoy what you're doing. Because if you're not enjoying it, what is the point? So I'm not actually finished with this painting, but here it is in its final stages. I'm actually going to work on it a little bit more. I'm going to refine it and add some more details and improve it using some brushes and then go back to the splashing technique to abstract it up a little bit more. But here it is in this stage and it just goes to show that with a little bit more work I could have actually just created this painting using just this toothbrush. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And for more wildlife art tips, head to studiowildlife.com. Anyway, I'll see you next time.